In this video, I would like to talk a little bit about psychics, which I briefly mentioned in an earlier video. They actually have some interesting strategies in their practices that relate to our discussions of rare events, which I think we could benefit from learning. But first, I would like to quickly remind you of the confirmation bias, which is the tendency to look for, interpret, and remember information that confirms your original idea or hypothesis. I'd also like to remind you of the fact that if an event has a probability of 1 over n and you do n independent trials, on average, that event will happen once. Additionally, if you want to increase your probability of that event happening, you have two options. You can increase the probability of success or you can increase the number of trials you conduct. So what does all of this have to do with psychics? The person who claims to be a psychic wants to increase the probability of you believing them. That is, they want to increase the probability of their information being relevant to your life. I call this probability amplification. The fact that someone goes to see a psychic indicates that there is already at least some initial belief, right? This itself creates the confirmation bias in this situation. So, as a psychic, what could you do to increase your probability of success? As discussed before, you would need to increase the number of opportunities for success. Consider this. You go to a psychic and they claim they can connect you to a deceased relative. Now, instead of saying, for example, your uncle John is telling me something, they will say, I am seeing a person whose name starts with J. The probability of you having a deceased family member, any family member, since the psychic was not specific, whose name starts with J is fairly high. Then you respond by providing the psychic with the name of your uncle John, which is a result of the confirmation bias at work. The psychic then uses this new information to their advantage to get you to believe them further. Another way psychics or astrologists get people to believe them is by providing general statements that could be applicable to nearly anyone. For example, say that they are providing you with your personality profile. They may say, at times you are extroverted, affable, and sociable, while at other times you are introverted and reserved. Think about it. Introverts and extroverts alike will probably think this accurately describes them. This is called the Barnum effect, which was proven by a professor who gave his students a list of statements and asked them to say whether they applied to them. The students said that the statements were applicable to their lives. At the end, he revealed that all of the students were given the exact same statements. Wikipedia's definition of the Barnum effect is as follows. The observation that individuals will give high accuracy ratings to descriptions of their personality that supposedly are tailored specifically for them, but are in fact general and vague enough to apply to a wide range of people. Psychics use the Barnum effect all the time in their practices, and it works. All of these concepts are at work when you go to a psychic for a serious reading. You most likely already believe the psychic on some level, which introduces the confirmation bias to the situation. The Barnum effect comes into play when they make general statements about you or your life, and you continue to only focus on the ones that are correct, ignoring the ones that are not so applicable to your life, increasing the influence of the confirmation bias. And as the psychic provides more statements about you, the probability that some of them applies to you increases. The psychic will also watch for your reactions, facial expressions, etc. in order to change their next statements to continually increase their probability of success. Keeping these concepts in mind, we can improve the way we think about many such rare events in our daily lives and learn to use these concepts to our advantage. Thank you for watching.